Hi there, this is Dr. Gordon Cameron from bloodpressurehigh.com with a brief video in reply to one of our readers' questions at bloodpressurehigh.com. Uh, the question asked about orthostatic low blood pressure, sometimes called posture-related or postural low blood pressure. I'm Dr. Gordon Cameron and I'm a family doctor based in Scotland. I have got uh, lots of experience over many years of treating patients with blood pressure and also a special interest in the subject because I suffer from it too, unfortunately. Uh, my problems are with high blood pressure, not low blood pressure, uh, but I do meet many, many people and get lots of emails from those who suffer with the low blood pressure side of the equation. So what is orthostatic low blood pressure? Well, anything related to a posture change, uh, sometimes called postural hypotension or postural low blood pressure. Uh, hypotension is just another name for low blood pressure. It's more common over the age of 60. Uh, and uh, to be honest, there are many, many causes. You could almost write a textbook based only on the causes of posture related low blood pressure. Sometimes investigation will find an obvious cause and then it's just a simple matter of treating that cause. But quite often, in truth, uh, you can be investigated uphill and down dale and fill or find no clear uh, explanation or reason for it. Uh, that sometimes uh, causes it to be a bit more difficult to find a useful treatment. So what kind of numbers are we talking about when we're discussing uh, this sort of low blood pressure? Well, the, the screen here shows a blood pressure cuff with a normal reading or relatively normal reading on it, 118 over 78 in this case. Now, uh, many uh, people with low blood pressure problems will have that kind of reading when they're sitting down or lying down. But the minute they stand up or get up from the lying to the sitting position, their blood pressure plummets, uh, often dropping as low as a number like 85 over 60. And to be honest, that's just not enough uh, blood pressure to uh, keep the brain well perfused uh, and the person begins to feel dizzy, lightheaded, nauseous, sweaty uh, and a whole range of other uh, similar symptoms, often in fact almost falling over uh, because of that. Sometimes if there's an obvious cause then it's easy to treat it very often, unfortunately, it isn't. So how do we diagnose this kind of posture related low blood pressure? Well, at its most basic level, it's pretty straightforward. You just need to see the person sitting and then again standing while they've got a blood pressure cuff around their arm. Uh, you can do this at home with a home blood pressure monitor if you think it might apply to you. Uh, take the reading, seated, stand up wait 30 seconds and take it again. If it drops more than 20 points on either of the two numbers, then you've pretty much clinched uh, the diagnosis. Uh, beyond that, it's a matter of trying to find the cause uh, and then to treat that cause if, if you can find one. If not, if no cause is found, and unfortunately that's quite common, then you can try the following things. Uh, more salt in the diet can help, but you have to be cautious and arrange for your doctor to check blood tests while you do this, just to make sure the salt doesn't go too high. Uh, more fluid intake each day often makes a difference, helps to fill up the circulating blood volume and makes the pressure run uh, a little bit on the higher side than, than the average and often helps the symptoms. Support stockings are good uh, for those in the elderly side of the population, uh, tight enough to constrict the veins and help to keep the blood circulating more smoothly. Avoid things like alcohol or excessive body temperature because those will lead to drops in blood pressure. And lastly, and this last thing under specialist guidance, consider using medications. I hope you found that brief overview helpful. If you're interested in this topic, you'll find much more about it over at www.bloodpressurehigh.com. Thank you for watching.